Isaiah chapter 29 verse 6 and it reads, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of the fire and fire. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere Akims, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. For God's of people here forbear. More storms on the way. They, um, I think it's a hurricane or either a tornado. I think it's a hurricane, though. Ion or whatever that, whatever it's called. The, and people, this this is just crazy. Ants, humans, um, ashes don't fear the heavenly power. You know what I'm saying they created everything. It's like it's like mind boggling how much pride these people got to where they don't fear storms, they don't fear floods, they don't fear earthquakes until they get caught up in one. They don't they don't fear fires until they get caught in one. You know, they don't fear all the things, the evils that the Lord got coming upon this place until they get caught up in. That's why I, seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. I'm going to read this again. This is just a quick one about to head out. You know, we're always watching the news, you know, watch as well as pray that we may be counted worthy to escape all these things. Let's get it again. Isaiah 29 6, because the Lord is going to persecute you people with these storms. You see, he's going to persecute you with the elements, man. All right? He, he, he's doing it now. Builders on fire. The only thing you got to do is turn on the news. you see exactly what's going on. All right? And, and, and eventually, sleazy eating, you know what I'm saying, is going to make it mandatory that you take that C here. Eventually. All right? Eventually, that grain of rice. Oh, yeah, it's June. All right. All right. Repair shop catches on fire. Whole damn building just burnt to a crisp. But let's get this, though. And look, when, when that's in the scripture, the flame of the fire and fire. Looking at the fire on the news now. Our people going to wait till they get caught up in the judgments of the Lord. And then they, Lord, have a long sight. Man, you know it's too late then, man, for the majority of you people. Isaiah 29 and 6, thou should be visited of the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. Not, not an entity to be playing around with, with thunder, you see? And with earthquake and great noise, right? With storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. But ain't nobody scared of that though, right? You ain't, you ain't scared of a big ass hurricane, right? And that's how you know something wrong with you people, man. But I'm gonna bring out a couple of scriptures, and then, then I'm gonna wrap it up. You done heard these scriptures before, and then it's, it's more than just hearing the scriptures. You gotta apply the scriptures. Are you taking heed to the scriptures? Are we taking heed to the scriptures each and every day to the best of our ability? Are, are we truly seeking the Lord, or are we playing around? Because if you're playing around, then the Lord got something for you, man. All right. Psalms 83. Psalms 83. And winter, look, winter's coming. Hey, I went to the grocery store um, yesterday. Shit's crazy, man. You know, man, 2.5 million people under evacuation in Florida. Well, but it was all good just a week ago, though, right? Now you got to haul ass, right? Psalms 83 and 15. So persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm. And a whole lot of people saying they ain't going to leave. You see, they, they, they ain't going to high ground. They, they just chilling. Psalms 83 and 15. So persecute them. All right? Let's get a definition. Persecute. It's, it's going to get persecuted. Persecute. Persecute. What does it say? Subject to high, subject someone to hostility and ill treatment. All right. That's what the, that's what the Lord is going to do to you people. 
and not just with the storms. Once again, with these different plagues and judgments, he's going to subject you. I mean, you're going to be under the root. Because the word subject means under the root, sub, under, jack, root. You ain't going to be able to do nothing about it. Subject someone, the people on the earth, to hostility and ill treatment. Though, and those storms damn sure will press you. Abuse, <laughs> victimize, you see, punish. You see it. Harass or annoy, because I know them storms be getting on your damn nerves, but you can't do nothing about that rain, that flood, them lightning strikes, trees fall. You get your house fixed, and that's ain't no, a tree just come and just land on that shit. I do repair, yo, and crush it. You see, when you in it, man, and you survive, but then you got to fight, figure out where you going to stay. This is what the Lord going to do to the majority of you people. It's going to hound you. You see, it's going to pick on you. It's going to trouble you. It's going it, to, shit, man. It's going to worry you to death, man. You you see it, man. You see it. Th these storms are going to bully you. A million, uh, 11 million people without electricity in Cuba as grid fails. Big ass f storm over there, man. This, this ain't no joke. It, it, it's no joke. Seek the Lord. Just a quick lesson. Just on seeking the Lord, man. It's time, Israel. A whole lot coming out of place. So much I can't keep up with it. Nobody can't keep up with all the judgments of the Lord. We can't keep up with it. A woman is in custody after deleting and dead, deading somebody. Boy, Isaiah 55. Please search it for one suspect after one deleted. And three hurt. It was the bang I was getting, getting for real, for real. You see? One person deleted, three hurt, and, and bang out. Oh, man. And then, and then um, a dude, you know what I'm saying, stole a, um, a blicky from the police and used it, you know what I'm saying, to delete this one. Man, it's going down, man. Isaiah 55 and 6, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Once again, while the man of the Lord is still out down the highways and byways, pushing his glorious word, his blessed word. Seek the Lord. Take heed to this word. All of us need to take heed to this word. I mean, how many warnings do you need? How many? Give them warning from me. So we give you warning from the Lord every day that the Lord bring forth judgment. I can do a GMS on the go in the news every day. If I wanted to, that's how much is happening. And then it'll be, and it'll be covering different things, man. Every day. I said 55 and 6, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked, meaning the Israelites that are committing wicked acts, let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man or woman, his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord. Let him repent. Let another woman delete it. 80-year-old charged and deadly crash. An uh, 80-year-old should have had an old ass in the house that, that, hit, that crashed into somebody. It's, this system is bugged out. Russia and the U, they still at war. It's going down, man. While we sitting over here waking up, eating breakfast and watching TV, and I'm doing, you know what I'm saying, in the news, you know what I'm saying, or doing a lesson, so, so somebody's house is getting, getting blown the hell up. You see? Somebody running from rapid fire right about now. So the Lord protected us throughout the night. And Lord wanted the Lord protect us throughout this day right here. That's why we got to constantly pray to the Lord to keep us safe. You see, deadly ambush attack out of the football game. You see that? You see that? Seek the Lord out of the football game, man. It's going down. Let the wicked forsake his way. No, ain't nobody innocent. What does it say? No. Whoever perish being innocent. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon. If, if you turn back, if not, the Lord's going to bring hell on you, man. Straight up, man. The news, the news on fire this morning, man. Amos 5. Amos 5 and 4. For thus saith the Lord and to the house of Israel. This is what the Lord is saying to us, man. To the house of Israel. He didn't say to the house of the whole world. He didn't say to all nations. He said to the Israelites. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, but Hashem, Yahweh Shai, who the ignorant called God and Jesus Christ, you still voting. 
trust them. Vote for somebody that you can trust in. You can't trust in these people. You should know that, but but you old ass Israelites, you gonna vote. You out there voting them, got them voting things all in your yard, looking all crazy. Seek ye me, and ye shall live. That's what the Lord is saying to the house of Israel. Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, seek the Lord that ye may live. Because the Lord is bringing all these things to the earth. The Lord said he destroyed all those that went a whoring out the other gods, man. All right? He destroyed them all. And that's what he's doing now in this lifetime. Destroying all the Israelites that didn't seek him, that are not seeking him. Isaiah 55. And seven. And remember, the Lord said, never trust thy enemy, all right? The hell with the shaven face and the suit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the moose in their hair, all slicked back and all that. Come on, man. Nothing but a bunch of damn crooks, man. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, but Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, do all these things. So, so let, it, let judgment come down upon them, Lord. Just let it just rain down on them. Just let it rain down on them, Lord. They ain't taking heed anyway. Oh, no, it's three. Ezekiel chapter 3. Oh, yeah. For when they shall say peace and save, there's sudden destruction anyway. Ezekiel chapter 3. Verse 17. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. It reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them one for me. The Lord ain't that. Look, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. I mean, I would bring out these scriptures every day, man. Every day, the Lord's going to destroy this wicked civil kingdom, man. Woe to this, um, woe to the bloody city. It's all full of lies and robbery. The prey the part of not. Judgment going forth every day, but the unjust knoweth no shame. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Your sins are going to catch up to you, Israel. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. I read 10 and 11. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai. That everyone may get, so like it, that everyone may receive the things done in his body. According to that he or she have done. Whether it be good or bad. So everyone is going to have to face the judge. And give account of the things that they have been doing. Lord willing, we'll be um, exempt. From the Lord's judgment, man. From the Hebrew word the wall, which means to be exempt from judgment. Lord, what do we have that spiritual mark on us, man? So when the deaf angels start going throughout these cities, you know what I'm saying? The Lord will preserve us. Lord will, man. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. See, we know the terror of the Lord. Remember, the Lord said he's going to persecute you people with these storms, with these different judgments. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We threaten you with the word. And the Lord have us bring it out. Once again, we got to keep quoting this. The Lord have us bring it out each and every day. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Look at two men wanted for questioning. Either color, Cumberland County, homicide, sh delete, um, blicky, bang out investigation. It just, you know what I mean? it just, it's just so much, man. It is so much. Knowing therefore, look, once again, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. No arrest either bang out the deletes one enters four at Philadelphia High School. You see? It's going down. You can't even go to a high school football game, basketball game. You damn sure can't go to the restaurant because the end up gonna tear the whole damn restaurant up if she can't get no ketchup. Shit, women getting attacked at in the damn subway. You see. Just go, just go, just go, walk, circle, get off that damn phone. Look around. Somebody might be watching you. All right? People got spirits on them. And the spirits create them events, man. All right? And they're aggravated, you know? We didn't look, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men and women. But we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your country. So it's, it's going down. Regardless if you take heed to the warning, it's still going to go down. Let's just see something. Fear, fear the Lord. Take heed. Uh, let's see. Bear with me. 
That's why the scripture says, seek ye for as the kingdom of heaven, and all things shall be added. But our people are not going to seek the Lord. This, all, this lesson is only for the elect anyway. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 3, seek, seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. The Lord's anger is going forth now. You see? What else? Uh, First Chronicles 16 and 11, seek the Lord and his strength, seek his face continually. You see? Let's see. Uh, Deuteronomy 4 and 29, and it reads, But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy power, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul, you got to put forth a whole lot of effort when, you, when it comes to seeking the Lord. Let's see what else. I should have read down in that Psalms um, 83 and 16. I should have read down when I read 83 and 15 earlier. I should have read 16 too, but here it go. Psalms 83 and 16, fill their faces with shame that they may seek thy name, O Lord. So the Israelites that are playing around, the Lord is going to put you to shame, man. All right? For not seeking him. What else, Lord? Because I got to roll. I got to roll out. Let's see. I read that one. Um... Uh, Proverbs 28 and uh, 5, evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. Sad and important it is to seek the Lord. You know that you know, 2 Chronicles 15, 13 comes out, that whosoever would not seek the Lord, power of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. That's plain. That's plain, Israel. And I, and I got a roll. Just a quick little lesson on just seeking the Lord. The Lord turning shit up, man. Seek him now, Israel. Do not play around with the Lord. Seek him now. You might end up getting caught up in a hurricane, and they throw you from one side of town to the other side of town. Then here you go hollering to him. Oh, it's too late, man. All right? Seek the Lord. Shalom.